Hurricane Epsilon has continued to defy expectations and rapidly intensify into a Category 3 major hurricane this afternoon. 29.6 degrees north and 60 degrees west exact is the storm's location as of 5 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time. The wind speeds are at 150 miles per hour and a pre central pressure of 955 millibars. And the storm is heading northwest at 10 miles per hour and we still have no CDPS scale rating as of this time due to the storm being too far away from land. The wind fields right now are at 300 nautical miles to the northwest, 380 nautical miles to the northeast, 80 nautical miles to the southeast, and 50 nautical miles to the southwest. The storm is currently 390 miles away from Hamilton, Bermuda, 1055 miles away from Cape Cod, Massachusetts, 1087 miles away from Halifax, Nova Scotia, 1309 miles away from St. John's, Newfoundland, 1732 miles away from Flores Island in the Azores. There is currently a tropical storm warning in effect for Bermuda as around 4 inches of rainfall and a 20 to 30% chance of storm force winds is expected. Again, the maximum sustained winds are 115 miles per hour, which is what the NHC have and we are going with them. The ADT and SAB are going with 105 miles per hour. Okay, so here's the cone of uncertainty. The storm will be going northwest for the next two days until it eventually turns northeast. And here we have the rainfall forecast for the next seven days. Again, four inches of rain is expected over Bermuda. Sea surface temperatures are gradually going to drop as the storm moves northwards. And again, we have 20 to 30% chance of tropical storm force winds for Bermuda. Hurricane force winds, as of now, are not affecting land. Okay, so looking at the multi-model diagnostic charts, the intensity appears to be leveling off, shear appears to be increasing, Sea surface temperatures are slowly dropping, humidity is slowly rising, and the track looking like it will continue to track northwest before changing direction and heading northeast in the next two days. And here is satellite imagery, and the storm is looking really well organized for a Category 3 major hurricane. You can follow our outlets. First of all, the website, force13.com, with new articles coming out all the time for your reading pleasure about all things weather. YouTube.com forward slash force13 with our tropical weather bulletins, animations, and tropical updates. You can also find us on Facebook for more information on those things. And then also on Twitter, we have the U.S. branches and AU branches on there as well, but you can see the URL below. Teespring.com slash store slash force13. That's where you can find things like the smug mug to buy. And finally, the Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash 413 where you can support the project and help it become even better.